Sisters, Wonders of Toulouse. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a most anticipated releases slash newly acquired books video. I was sent a few books from publishers for the months of October to December 2021 so I thought I would share with you guys what I've been sent and what I'm excited to read soon so without further ado let us get started. Oh. The first book I was sent is Not Your Average Hawkeye by Gwenda Bond. This released October 5th, 2021. Usually if I'm going to read like a romance, it's a YA contemporary and I'm just so over it at this point. So recently I've been getting more into adult romances. So I started reading all the Helen Huang books, Sally Thorne, um... Abby Geminis, Gem Geminis, I don't know how to say that, but more adult romances and I'm absolutely falling in love with them. So when I was sent this, I was super excited. It follows a girl named Callie who is helping to run her family's escape room business for the weekend and she thinks that she's gonna have no problem until a cult breaks in and says that one of the props, a spell book, is the real deal and they need it in order to summon the right hand man of the devil and what they end up summoning is this super attractive, super annoying demon named Luke. And then I'm assuming they fall in love. But I just think that it sounds like a lot of fun and like I said, I've been getting into more adult romances so I'm excited to see if I like this one. Next up, I was sent a box. It included um, some tattoos and a paperback copy of Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alirisenes, which I read. I gave it a four out of five stars, maybe a 4.5. It was so long ago, I honestly don't remember. They also included the next book in the series. I'm so excited that there's a second book, which is Aristotle and Dante Dive Into the Waters of the World, which is after they fall in love after book one, which is not a spoiler because everybody knows that. And now they're like trying to stay together and survive high school. This one released October 12th, 2021. This has obviously been released for years now, but I'm really excited to dive back into the world. I really enjoyed the first one, like I said, so I'm probably gonna have to reread the first one so that I understand what the heck is going on because it was so long ago, but next up is a book that is releasing on November 30th, 2021, and it is Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. It takes place in 1860s England, and it follows a girl who gets sold to the circus and she is deemed the leopard girl because of the birthmarks that cover her body. As this young girl, Nell, grows older, she comes into her stardom and becomes the most popular spectacle at the circus. She becomes the queen of the moon and the stars. The head of the circus, Jasper, starts to realize that he may have hit the jackpot, but then his brother Toby begins to become captivated by Nell as well. It says that it is a gorgeously wrought exploration of a celebrity power and belonging and it is a historical novel unlike any other with an unforgettable heroine at its heart. I just really like circus books like the night circus is one of my favorite books and i just think that this is gonna give like same vibes kind of situation next up is read between the lines that this is by rachel lacy and this is releasing december 1st 2021 this one is another adult romance which i'm very excited because it is a lesbian it follows a woman named rosie who owns a bookshop she has never had the best luck with romance but then she starts an online Online flirtationship with her favorite author Brie. And then it also follows a woman named Jane who tries to keep her professional and personal lives separate. During the day she works as a property development person and then by night she is a author by the pen name of Brie. She also has not had the best luck with love and so when a very loyal reader starts flirting with her she thinks that she's gonna try her luck with that flirtationship. But then Rosie's family's bookstore's lease is terminated by Jane's family business. So when they meet each other, they do not get along very well. And then it is discovered that Jane is Brie and Rosie has to decide whether or not she can overlook that 
that and deny their chemistry or put that whole situation aside and take a chance on love and I just think that it sounds like a lot of fun I'm really really excited about this I just think it's gonna be like such a cute book and we love like enemies to lovers except like they were in a relationship before so is it like lovers to enemies to lovers we don't know we're gonna see but i'm here for it and then the last book that i was sent which again i am very excited about is a history of wild places by shane earnshaw this is the author of the wicked deep which i was a big fan of when i read it this is her adult debut and it releases december 7th 2021 but like i said i loved the wicked deep this one follows a man named Theo who is hired to find missing people. So when he goes to this small town, he ends up going missing as well. And then years later, another man finds his truck outside the borders of this town. And it has something to do with a cult, which I am very fascinated in. So I'm very intrigued. The synopsis is very vague. Other than there's somehow a cult and a virus involved and people cannot enter this town because they want to keep the virus out but I'm so intrigued and so excited to pick this up I think it sounds so cool all right everybody so, so those were the couple of books that I've been sent recently for the months of October to December which I am going to read very soon and hopefully have some thoughts on thank you so much again to the publishers for sending me all these books I can't wait to pick them up let me know down below if you guys are interested in any of these books or if you've read any of the ones that are already released or plan on reading any of the ones that are yet to be released and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!